Hey everybody, Dr. Strife here, bringing you another video. So, today I wanted to talk about a topic that I'm actually going to be covering in a future video. Not the topic itself, but a particular game in a future video. But, uh, I want to talk about this whole, uh, movement that's been happening recently because of Persona 4 Arena Ultimax's, uh, re-release. Uh, the No Roll Back, No Buy movement. And before I start, I just want to say everybody has the right to purchase whatever they want. However they want, when they want, if they want, if they don't want. So it's not me trying to say, oh, well, you have to support this. You have to do that. Like, no, that's, that's not what it is. But I want to talk about how a movement like this has, I believe, a good heart in it, but could backfire on those who really want to see uh, perhaps even classic fighting games or any other games come out for that really for that reason <laughs> yeah talk so what am I talking about so a couple of uh, people uh, have come out online and have talked about you know basically say don't support Persona 4 Arena Ultimax's release until they add rollback don't buy it at all period and I, I get where it's coming from because Guilty Gear, Code Mystics with the SNK games, the betas of the King of Fighters 15, DNF Duel, uh, and just so many others have proven to us, and even Guilty Gear Strive have proven to us that rollback is very important to fighting games nowadays. It allows us to play with almost anyone anywhere. Uh, Sometimes, regardless of connection, depending on if you uh, are playing Wi-Fi or you just have terrible internet and you live in a hut somewhere, but, you know, that that's, that's just life. Nothing can be perfect. But the thing is, Atlas had announced at the... didn't announce it, but it was more of a uh, after... it was an interview, I believe, with Famitsu, where they said that this release would not have rollback, but are heavily considering it. Which is not a confirmation of rollback, unfortunately, but it does sound like that they hear what people are saying and hear that this is important. A couple of things I worry about when it comes to this uh, no rollback, no buy movement is that Atlas is not a company that makes fighting games. Really, the only other time I remember they had anything to do with a fighting game, to my recollection, before the Persona 4 Arena series uh, was a thing, is that they released Guilty Gear on PS1. They were the publisher in the West. I don't know if they were the publisher in Japan at the time, or if Arc System Works self-published that, but yeah. And that did not have rollback or online of any kind. So, yeah. So, my concern with the whole no roll back, no buy is that some publishers and developers understand why people purchase or don't purchase things. Some can reflect after the event of uh, purchases or, or decline of sales as, oh, we should have done this, or we can go back and fix this, or in future releases we need to add this, or take this away, or fix this where I don't know if I feel 100% confident in Atlas to fully understand if enough people, which I don't really believe that this would make much of a difference, but because uh, the people that love Persona, that love fighting games, kind of only listen to each other and then the general public may not care about this as much, but let's say if it did have an impact. Let's say that you know, the sales were poor because this no no rollback, no buy movement is dominant. It's something that people are really adhering to. Companies don't always listen. And sometimes they take, well, quite a few times, depending on the companies, will have the wrong takeaway. Uh, well, there could be an example of where they could simply think, Oh, this didn't sell well because nobody really wanted this game. People said they wanted to buy it, but they didn't buy it. 
they may not see it as, oh, it was because of lack of rollback, or, oh, you know. So, you know, if this is a game you really want to play, you really want to play with friends, or you really just want to lab, if you really just want to, and you want to support this title, then I think you should. But I'm not saying the people that don't want to buy it because of lack of rollback are wrong. That's not what I'm saying at all. And I'm not trying to say, oh, well, these people, these people are full of shit. No, no, it's not that. But I do think that I think the dialogue shouldn't be no rollback, no buy, but it should be add rollback in. Either delay it or put it in after release. Because here's the thing. Um, there are a lot of games that some of these people that I was talking about supporting don't have rollback, but they continue to support today. Like Dragon Ball Fighters, Grand Blue. Um, and a lot of this stuff is up to the publisher, not as much as the developer, because I'm sure our system works would love to throw rollback in everything, seeing how successful it was with Guilty Gear Strive. But because Dragon Ball is published by Bandai Namco, who don't really seem like they get the whole rollback thing yet anyway, especially with their games like Tekken. And then, you know, Grand Blue being published by a by a company that I believe does more mobile games than console games, if I could be totally wrong on that. But, yeah, it's just... You know, those companies don't really get rollback. So, you know... And plus, there are ways, like, you know, which... Not justifying the lack of rollback here. You know, people, if you're playing on PC, you can use stuff like Parset, which isn't rollback, but it is pretty good when it comes to using delay-based code. And also, as someone who has created the series as a dead, will tell you that community support for games is very important, especially when it comes to close to release or anything after that. So it's very important that we remember that a game is only as strong as its community. And if there is no community for this game, this could end up keeping rollback from being in the game. But I will say again, at the end of the day, if this really bothers you, if it bothers you to the point that you just cannot, you just, you can't, you won't, like no matter what, you just won't play it without it, then that is your right and I have no ill will toward you. I don't think it's fair to try to tell other people what to do when it comes to that with this whole thing. To tell people, hey, don't buy it if it doesn't have rollback. Because the problem is, is that if you really want something and you can afford it, you should buy it. Unless it's NFTs. That, that shit's disgusting. But, regardless, buy what you want, support what you want. But that also means don't let up on the rollback. Don't let up on the conversation. Let these companies know. Because they want their products to have longevity. Longevity is a key factor nowadays. It's more than just the, you know, oh, how many copies did we sell in the first couple weeks? You know, which is very important. Don't get me wrong. They, they, still, they still think about that a lot. But a lot of games are, they're trying to make it as long tiles as they can. And sometimes even some of these classic tiles getting re-released may affect future releases of other games or perhaps even newer entries in these series. So that's one thing we gotta keep in mind. Speak with your wallet, of course, if this is something that truly means the world to you. You know, don't buy it, play something else. But if you want this game to come back, Buy it, and don't let up on your feelings of rollback. Let them know that, hey, you want this product, but you want it to be better. You want them to improve it. You want them to update it. And it's not impossible. You can look at games like BlazBlue, uh, who just recently got a rollback beta. You got uh, BlazBlue Crosstag that's going to get one in the future. Uh, Guilty Gear Accent Core. Uh, got 
a rollback patch added in. SNK Classic Games ended up getting a rollback patch in. So it's not impossible. And the fact that they've acknowledged it in that interview that this is something they know people want is a positive. Maybe it isn't a definitive answer. Maybe it's not the answer everybody wants to hear, but it can be a positive. And I think if we really let them know that this is what we want, then we need to let them know. So, yeah, that's just my thoughts on all that. And I want to to ask you guys are you fully on board the no rollback no buy like f you atlas you you stupid persona people how dare you or are you like me that understands that hey you know maybe people should just do whatever they want so yeah let me know in the comments below this ran a little long but i'm gonna kind of just leave it as is and till next time everybody Dr. Strive telling you, game on.